Hi everyone, welcome to the How To Craft Network studio. My name is Tony Derrick and this is the home of Stamps By Me. If you're here right now, you're only here for one reason, because you've scanned that beautiful QR code in your fabulous box kit magazine. So this was the promised um, video in relation to making an album and we're going to go ahead and make it today from scratch. And I'm going to show you a few hints and tips on how to get the papers out of the magazine too. And it's going to take probably to build the magazine half an hour, 40 minutes, and then you can take it away and make it your own and embellish it, create it, add the presents, the gifts, the money if you want to. Um, so grab a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, a couple of things you're going to need is a guillotine, which I just have on the back here, maybe some scissors, a bit of glue, tape, um, uh, and a little bit of time really. So we'll build it together. I would say build it with the papers in here. If you like the project, then you can uh, recreate it with all of the other lovely papers that you have in your stash as well. And this box kit is super affordable. So if you don't get it quite right, it's not the end of the world. I've just noticed there, look at this, the boss. There is another cup in this building that says the real boss. So I need that one really. <laughs> so let's get cracked on. So if this is the magazine, so you've got your magazine with all of the wonderful goodies. Now, let me just tell you something here, guys. There are none available anywhere. If you're watching this video, unfortunately, if you don't have the box kit, you're going to have to get some papers out of stash because I don't have it. The world doesn't have it. Stores don't have it. Um, it blew out, blew out. 5,000 units. Boom, gone. Next time I'm going to order more on my next box kit too. So let me just show you how I um, start my project. So the project that was in here, I think it's page 31. Let's have a look. Here we go. So it's this QR code here. You can scan this and that's what you're going to be seeing with me here today. Now you can see the album. It's fully decorated, this guys, and it did take me longer than what we're going to spend in this tutorial, okay? But I'm going to show you how to at least build some pages and put a beautiful closure on your magazine. So this is the QR code. Um, let's skip to the papers. So the way that I like to do my papers is if you look, it's quite cool in the sense that the papers are built into the centre of the magazine. So I just like to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and hopefully pull the papers out in one, okay? Make sure you press your staples back in though. I don't want anybody to get cut or caught or pricked in any way. So push those back in and then you can set your magazine to one side and um, read that at your own leisure. So here are the wonderful papers. So you get stripes, patterns, watercolour. You also get the texture toppers as well. So what I always like to do is I like to go through and I like to separate the plane from my toppers, okay? Because they're what we're gonna utilize in our book in two different ways. So I have a plane, I have a topper on this one. So I'm just gonna take my guillotine. I'm just gonna remove the topper and put it to one side because these are what are gonna um, decorate your book. Now, with these papers, guys, they're about 100, 120 GSM. Be careful with them. They're far thinner than what we would normally use. You can just actually slightly see through that one there. So you need to be mindful which glue you use. I always use tape pens on this paper uh, because I fear that the glue will show through. So make sure you choose wisely on that one. So this one is a topper. So I'm going to set the topper to the side and the pattern to the front. Pattern on both sides, yeah. And then, where's my magazine? Okay. Where, where did I put those papers? Help me out. What did I do with that? Where did I put the papers? Can anybody see them? Oh, look here. <laughs> Honestly, I'm in for a great day today. So then the next page toppers so the page toppers here so i'm going to take those off so cut through the papers um so that's that cut, yeah. so that's the plain paper and then the topper to the side and then i'm just going to go through them all so if you're doing the same with me right now so separate the toppers from the plate from the papers your pattern papers so for this one, I've just removed these ones, look. Uh, 
in my patterns and this is a plain sheet so we'll just move that to the front that's a topper so we'll keep that one to the topper pile this one's got toppers in two so it's just got toppers on this side so we'll just remove this one Keep toppers separate because they're what are going to um, be the embellishments for your book. So they're both um, pattern paper, so we'll just put it down the centre. And this is a topper. Oh, it's actually two sets of toppers, so we'll just split it and then we've got two pages of toppers. papers with no toppers so these are going to be my pages and these are going to be my embellishments now some of these we could absolutely fussy cut out as you can see we have the flowers and the lovely words as well so let's just set our toppers to one side for one second so to start the project you're going to need like an album cover okay so I've already gone and made myself a cover and it's a square one I always do rectangles so I felt like this book needed to be square in some form so just check this out guys so this is a piece of white cardstock. This is 250 GSM. So this is like a card blank, basically. And it is 11 inches by 6 or 6 by 11. And then I scored in the middle. And it looks like this. Ta-da! Super, super easy. Okay. So if you're grabbing some white card now, it needs to be 6 by 11 and scored down the middle. And I'll just have a swig of my coffee while you all just do that because I think a lot of you might be crafting along. Please do know, though, this video won't go away, so you can pause it, mute me, rewind, fast forward, skip a beat, miss a beat, whatever you want to do. I'll just give you a second to get that and then we'll crack on. Right, so let's get our pattern papers. Now I know that the um, depth of this is six, so all of my papers are going to be six. If I was doing an eight uh, inch book, they would be cut at eight. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm just going to grab my guillotine. I'm just going to take these pages here and I'm going to cut them at six because my, my book is six deep. So I'm going to pop them all in my guillotine. Well, not all of them, some of them. And we'll cut at six. You see? Six inch wide. So then it's as wide as my book look. You see? See? Perfect. So let's cut a few of the sheets at six. Oh, we can't cut that one though. We have to move that to one side. <laughs> Oh, I told you I would never be able to cut into that. I didn't tell lies. So save these pieces because these are what are going to create pockets, tags, toppers, embellishments. So six on this one. So another page. And another one. I'll cut four. Let's just do four for now. Six. Another one. And then we'll do one more. And six. Now there is absolutely no measuring required to make this album and I'll show you why. You can, if you want to, be more precise and score and measure and things like that. Unfortunately, my best albums come from just what's in here. Pinching, marking, pulling in, twisting, turning, creating the most incredible albums. But of course, you can measure and be precise, put the score lines in and bah, 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 as they say. So it's all personal preference. I just like to just get on with it, enjoy it and not worry about measure at two and a half and three quarter inches and like, oh, and I'm really good at maths as well. So, but I just don't like it when it's written down on paper. I, to, I can't transfer the paper into here to the measurement. I always get it wrong. So hopefully this is going to help you. So quite simply, all the pages are going to be different and we're just going to do them freehand. So keep your book to one side. Okay. Now grab your first sheet. 
So the first sheet, quite simple, let's fold it in half. Shall we just be simple with this one? Let's fold it in half. Okay. So you can see now, very easily, it's the height of our folder. Do you see here, here? Now you're probably thinking, hang on, you've got an overhang there. No, 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 we don't do overhangs. This is how we get around it. So, on this particular one, I'm going to pull in about this much and I'm just going to score it. Nothing by eye, but if you are doing it by eye, that's two inch, as you can see on my mat, two inch. And I just like to pull in like so. And then I shut my page and then I'll do it this way, but I'll do it at maybe one inch, a bit less, so it's not exactly the same. Push it at the top, push it in place, and pinch. You see? Super duper easy, hey? <laughs> and then let's get another page. Okay, so for this one, um, I'm going to do a pocket on this side. Oh, don't need two, tell me, just one. So I'm going to pop it on here. Um, and I think I'm going to do a two inch pocket. Okay, so all I'm, I can see I've got two inch on here. Now I normally just do this, guys, and, and fold it like that. But I am going to put it in my guillotine, okay? So your next sheet of paper, let's put it in our guillotine. Let's be, let's be a little bit um, more professional, tell me, than just putting it in. So I'm just going to score it. Now score it lightly because it is only finished paper remember that so now i've got this wonderful score line i've done it at two instead of one it doesn't matter I'll just fold it in so what's going to happen now is we're not going to adhere any of these flaps and fold but creating pages and sticking them together i'm going to stick this one so i'm going to pop this on here like so and as you can see when we fold it forward we have a pocket so i'm going to take my tape Let me just see if I've got another tape then to hand. I think that one is going to run very, very well. Let's go until it runs out, hey? So I have down there, down there, and I'm going to go down by the base here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this pocket onto the edge of this book. So I'm just going to pop. Onto the edge here, try and line it up best you can. And then push it down, and then we have a pocket. You see that there? We have a pocket in there. Now, if you fold this fold, as you can see, this page is far too long to go in my book. So we need to rein it back a little bit. So let's just bring in our book cover here. So, so far. We have one page, two page, and this one needs to come in about that much. But as you can see, it's a little bit long. So there's my score. Here's my score line look. So I'm going to bring it in to about here. Make sure it's not too long for my book. No, nope, it's still within my book look. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a nice fold back pocket with a decorated lid. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this down flat. Like so. And then I'm just going to open this one and I'm going to do down the side. And down the side, that's my tape bun. Let me just grab another tape pen, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see how you can be really fluid in your... Um, just opening a tape then guys, how you can be really fluid in it, how your pages will be different each time, which is wonderful. Let's just add some glue down here and some glue down here. 
and then we have another page. So let's go back to the beginning. So, so far we have one here. Now this is going to be a pocket and we have another page. I'm going to do this one flat because we have a nice pocket here and we have a nice pocket here. It's a bit hard to see on set, isn't it, when um, it's paper? But you get the gist so far. So we need to adhere another pocket. Now I might do a tall pocket up here. So we have maybe just over halfway. So our last pocket came from about one inch or two inch. I think I'm going to go over half on this one. So that's two inch, one, two, three, four inch. Can you see there? One, two, three, four. So if you want to put it in your guillotine and score at four, I do just do that, but I'm going to do it properly because I appreciate people will like me to shout out these scores. So four inch on this one I'm going to go, guys, with my score tool. And then I'm just going to score it over. And then we're going to add some tape, make another pocket. So I'm going to add this to the back of here. Can you see that there? So let's add some tape. And then this one's going to go onto here by the base. So yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to lean in. Now I have another pocket here. How cool is that? And then I might just bring this one and then create another pocket here. Now all the pockets won't be the same. Not until you'll and it, that'll come to fruition as soon as we start to embellish, okay? So with this one, let's just bring in our book and see how much longer it is. So that's the score line in the centre. So we need to come in about two inch, don't we? So I'm just gonna do this by eye, guys. like so but i'm not going to have this as a pocket i'm going to have it as a fold out on this one so give it a good old score so i can pop like one of my off cuts here just for example i could pop a pocket on here so if i trim it there i can have a pocket here and then when you open it we could have a big pocket in here too and we could have big pages in there too so there is a lot of scope with this one okay so so far we have let's have a look you can see it's coming together quite nicely so one, two, three, four. Shall we put another one in? Right. I'll just throw on another one. So let's do a double pocket on the back of here, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop, let's just see how long. Yeah, we're still within our book. Make sure your pages don't extend beyond your book. So on this one, I feel like we should go pocket. So let's have a look how long this pocket would be then. So one inch, two inch, three inch. Four inch. So score at four again. It seems like four is the common number. So let's pop that in at four. So this will glue onto the back of here, like so. And then I think we will do a fold back pocket. Uh, shall we do a fold back pocket? You could do a course and tea pocket. This is a beauty of these, you know, you, you're not governed by anything at all. So what I would probably do here is, in fact, I could adhere this to the back page. So let's get this one stuck. I might do it that way, I like it a bit that way. Let's just turn the pattern. So let's get this stuck to the back of here. So let's just move this out of the way for now. Okay. 
and we'll just adhere this to the spine. So this is our next pocket. I mean, how much fun is just a piece? How wonderful. So I have a pocket here, which is quite nice. And I'm going to put a nice embellishment on there. I might put a pair of nice welly bobs on there. Look at that. Hence, we, we can have some fun with it, can't we? So this piece here, I think I might utilise to stick it in my book. Now, I do need something on here to adhere to my front page as well. So I'm leaving this for now because this is going to stick to the inside of my book okay so this is what's going to bring the book pieces in but i need one for my front as well i can't well i could just stick that on there but i'll lose one of my pages and i don't want to lose one of my pages i'm just going to find another piece of paper because i didn't use them all i'm just gonna use this nice vibrant i use this watercolor one so again as you all the rest of your pages all your pages need to be the same depth so, so six again so six on this one and there save these remember i think i think we need to have a slurp of our tea we're all doing really well aren't we hopefully don't forget to share your makes so with this one then let's just move our book out of the way let's bring our book pages in so with this one we can adhere it here to create a front pocket on here so we've got one pocket, two pocket, three pocket, four pocket, five, and then the back page. And you could keep going and going and going. Okay, so let's see how big this is about. Three, shall we do a two inch pocket or a three? Two and a half. I don't think it really matters. You can decide. I'm going to go two and a half. Two and a half. Just to make my pockets all different sizes. And then we'll score it on that score line. And I'm going to attach this here. So basically, we are just creating our foundation here for our album. Nothing more. You're going to be able to tart it up and have fun yourself and build in those lovely fussy cut elements and tags and toppers. But basically, the initial part is getting your foundation right. Once your foundation is right, you can have so much fun embellishing. And that's what I love to do the most. I think everybody's in agreement. So what I'm going to do now, as you can see, so when we pop it in our book, you can see it's going to be cool. So these pieces here, okay, I like to make extra pockets with my um, fold-overs here. So the way that I like to do that is, let's see how... So it's five and a half and five and a half is the each panel. So we need to pop our book inside. Again, I was going to do it by eye, but I thought I'd better not because you'll all be beating me up. So let's have a look here. So you see how we've created another pocket on the inside here? I'm just going to do it by eye if that's okay, guys. It is three and a half inch, by the way. I'm just going to bring it inside my book. And I like to bring it just a little bit within, a little bit nearer in than to the very edge. I'm just going to go about here. And then I think I'm going to fold that back and create a nice patterned pocket. Just about an inch. You see that there? Ta -da! And we need to do the same with the back. So I'm just going to put it in the spine. I'm just going to bring it in. Um, just shy of my, my book cover, so about there. So all my pages are different sizes, which I love because it creates interest. And then you could just leave that one. I don't think we need to fold that one back. Shall we just leave that one? Mini pages. Cool. So let's stick our pages in. So I'm going to stick this one back flat. And then this one, we are going to do a pocket. And then on the back, pocket. 
All right, have I got any other pockets that need taping down? This one, let's tape this one down. And I'm just going to stick this one flat because you can't have a pocket this way and a pocket that way. It doesn't work. So this is just like a decorative element. So let's just stick this one flat, totally flat. And we might add a nice, like now, like now to tie all that together, you can absolutely add a, a welly bob or whatever you wanted. So, oh, we've got one here. Right, so the great thing about this is now we stop it from all looking like, oh, we've all got just side panels on our album. Everyone's got like a panel. You have to have those panels to adhere each page one to the back of the other. But now this is where you can create a little bit of interest. I love paper. Has anybody guessed? So all of these sort of like coffee cup bits here, this is where you can really go to town and decorate the pages. So say, for instance, this plain page here. We can grab some of our patterned paper, any, any paper you want that's left. And we could create a pocket down by the base here. So I, I just like to pop it on and then pinch it with my nail, leave a little mark. And um, just cut on the mark. So then we can pop tape down side, the base and the side and this don't take it right to the score line and there you have another pocket make sure you take yours properly and um, that's a pocket, that's a pocket that's a pocket, that's a pocket And we could even, even though this is a side pocket here, you could pop a pocket here. So let's grab some of our, let's get some of the plain. And then just pinch with my nail. Then again, some tape. Red liner tape would absolutely hold this in place. Wouldn't move then. And then pop one on here. So now I have another pocket here. And you could totally keep going with the pocket element. I could put another one on here. So I have like a stacking pocket. So let's do a stack pocket. So we have one. Two, let's do three on this page just to create a little bit of interest. So I know that's six inch because all my pages are six. So let's just pop this on here. Six. Let's get another piece of the pattern and do another one at six. We've got tons of off cuts, so you might as well use them. So um, let's have a look. So let's pop this one on here. Go so side and side. So one pocket, two, so I've got three pockets, one, two, three. How cool is that? And then we've got our back pocket here. So the world is huge when it comes to embellishing our book. You really can be creative, add tags, toppers, embellish. Uh, I mean, I love albums. So let's get this in our book quite easily. So all we're going to do here is we're going to just basically take this and this to the inside of our book. So tape on here. Now, tape, glue, use a ton of it, whatever you're using. If you're using glue, you need to be a little bit more sparse because the papers are not that thick, but red line tape would be perfect. So what I like to do here is I like to take it to the score line, line it up, but don't put it right in the score line, but as close as you dare. 
and then push it down. And then on the back piece here, thread line of tape. And then I just close my book. And as you can see, I've got old page that's a little bit long there. I'll show you how to rectify that now. Which is my front. Surprisingly enough, what is all that about? So I could pop that in the guillotine and take it off. Normally, I would probably just fold it in and create a decorative element, but I will do that in a second. So let's, what you need to do now is you've got it in your book, is give it a good old score on each page. Move the paper around. There we go. Move each page. Now, as you can see, look at this here. Can you see I've just slightly got it off there? I'm just going to take my scissors and cut that through. Okay, just to tidy that up a little bit. If you make this mistake, well, it's not a mistake, is it? I guess at the end of the day, but it's easy sorted, okay? Just take your scissors and cut off the excess. It will make no difference to how your book looks, okay? It's in your book now. So. There we go. So now we have our wonderful book. Now at this point, this is where sort of these um, lovely things come into play. So your, your sort of pattern papers, these can absolutely, I mean, look at the state of this. This is because I had to um, cut this with a rubbish blade. I've updated it now, so hopefully it will cut beautifully. There we go. Um, I'll just trim this off. Um, this is where you can create like little books with pockets and things like so. So if you just take this book here, it's patterned beautifully inside. But again, with your off cuts, you can put a little mini pocket inside. So if you pop a little pocket inside, let's just show you here. then got places to put a gift card or a poem and then you can decorate the front with a welly bob if you want and then put a hole punch with a, a bookmark inside if you wanted to and this is where these sorts of things come into fruition really when you're actually embellishing your book because now i can tuck um, my gifts cards my wallets my pocket folds into pages that one linked in there that would look beautiful there see what i mean about and then i could add some embellishments add some 3d flowers if it's coming out of the top of the wellington and really go to town and embellish to the nines so that is basically the building of the book it's really down to yourselves now on how you want to dress it and make it your absolute own now each pocket let me just pull out that embellishment there each pocket you will have to cut down to size to put your embellishments in Got one at the edge here, look, where you can pop in and pull out. One here. There are just so many family photos if you wanted to. And really, really bulk it out. Absolutely wonderful. From a little bit of paper, how wonderful is that? Now let's decorate our front. Now the front is six by six and a half okay so i like a white border this is one i started not so long ago and i like this little white border around the front on this one i'm going to sh i'm going to do the same for this one um i'm just going to grab the paper which i've got left which is this one so i'm going to just measure and leave us like as if you're mat and layering a card here guys so i'm just going to cut that down there I've just got like a two mil ish border. Like so. One at the top. I'll, I'll measure this in a second. You can have a look at what size. I'll tell you exactly what size mine is. And then if you are cut 
printer size so if you look at it on here it's six by just under six and a half six by just under six and a half and that fits beautifully on the front of my album there and then i need one for the back also so i'm not going to waste this piece here hopefully i might get it out oh look at that i did oh how cool is that so now we have a front and a back cover um on the um, actual album that we had in the magazine it had a magnetic closure but i'm not going to do a magnetic closure in class simply because people might not have magnets might not be able to afford magnets and i'm going to show you an inexpensive way to get a closure without any magnets okay if you have magnets of course you can do the beautiful magnets if you want them. Um, there are no rules, but just trying to keep it as basic as I can. And as promised, I did say that you would be able to create things just from the album. And that's what I'm trying to achieve. Okay, um, so let's have a look here. So my front of my album, I would like to have a topper that says something. So I'm just going to grab my topper page. It's going to be fab. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to go with I'm so proud of you. So I'm just going to take my scissors actually on this one. And I'm just going to cut. I'm so proud of you. Best I can. I might want to use some coloured cardstock from your stash if you want to. To enhance, make it um, pop from the page. Just going to see what paper I've got left from the kit. So it could go on to some green. Matt and Lair, that's getting lost a little bit. Let's find another. What about a yellow? I really don't want to cut into that either because that one is got tops on it. Let's have a look at this one. There we go. So let's take this onto here. So don't forget if you have scanned the qr code and you've actually done the tutorial please like the video let me know your thoughts is it something you've enjoyed would you like me to incorporate more qr codes in our magazines the interactivity is wonderful on my part i love doing this type of craft i love um making albums so if you do like it then that makes me very happy also but let me know your comments in the um in below because this is the first time we've done the qr code system so i would like i would really be interested in knowing how you found it so first of all i'm going to stick my front cover on here so let's take this on Our lovely front cover there and we have our topper might do it up by the top this time i'm going to do top today because i like to change it up top and in the middle i'm going to decorate with a ton of flowers on the front of this one so now we need to do our pretty closure. Now the closure needs adhering before you add your back panel, okay? So let's do a closure. So just grab a piece of off cut white from anything you've cut, maybe your, the, the strip from your album front cover. You just need to cut a piece of white and it needs to be, I'm gonna give you exact measurements on this so you don't um, make a hash of it. So one and a half wide, one and a half inch wide okay and three inch one and a half wide three inch long okay then you need to cut a piece of pattern paper that's an off cut so whatever's going to match your book maybe you want the purple to match the book um one and a half by three might do the purple no pink green i might do yellow actually 
So it's just as a piece of yellow there. Look, I'm gonna do yellow. So then I'm gonna create a matte layer for this. So just a little bit smaller. So just under one and a half and just under three for this one. So let's just do just under three. And just under one and a half. And then this is just going to sit onto my white piece. You see that there? Super, super easy. Now, if you have corner round punches, you are an avid album maker and you have all the kit and caboodle, <laughs> then you can really, really go to town and make this absolutely your own. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this onto here. Nope. like so and then what you're going to do is you're going to turn your book over and you're going to adhere it in the middle at the back now give yourself a two inch overhang and the rest is going to adhere to here okay so let's take take this on in the middle ish where you think like so and then this is going to wrap around. Now you might want to decorate, I should have really decorated the inside too so it doesn't look ugly. But then don't fold it over yet because what I always say is once you've added embellishments and tags and toppers to the middle of your album. Oh, oh, have I gone upside down? No. Oh. I have my pages upside down. If I can get this. Oof. Saved by the bell. Oh, this is now my front. I'm going to need to come off. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. It has to be right. So, um, that's my. Make sure you do not make this. At least you've learnt from my mistake there. So this is my front, let's get this on here, and that's my back. Now I'm just going to put that on there. And you know what, I, the, the idea of hiding it underneath my work was amazing, but I'll just put a flower over there so you can't see that. Okay, and now this is my front. Hey, improvisation. I couldn't have left it. I know a lot of you would have been the same. No way can we leave that. So I'm just going to pop this on here. This is my front now. And then we'll pop our topper back on. I'll just pop some more adhesive on there. Thank goodness I was using my tape pen. The tape pen is brilliant for speed. It's great for me to teach you, but you at home must be a little bit more careful, I guess, because you're not going to be just using um, a tape pen. You're going to be really sticking it down. So it is a gift for somebody. So there we go, thank goodness for that. Now I have got sticky adhesive on the back here, I just need to rub that off. There we go. So now I have the front, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to create like a closure. I never create my closure until I've packed all of the inside out. So when it's got all of my tags and my toppers and my bookmarks and family photos inside, then that's when I start, then that's when I do the class closure, okay? So um, use your fussy cut pages to build in the embellishments first. I'm going to do it now because obviously I'm not going to be filling this one because it's for an example for you lovely ladies and gents. Has my coffee gone cold? But I'll show you how I do a quick and simple closure. Now again, a piece of off-cut white from something you've cut. And all I like to do is basically glue top and bottom and then when we pull this around, it tucks in. Does that make sense? So, now you can make it white so it doesn't look like it's in your face. Just give it a little bit of a hump on there if you want to. Or you could do it as this one like I did here with the purple. But then I plan to obviously add the flowers in and around so it hides the making and the closure of it. There's a ton of flowers and embellishments in the kit too. These ones here, so side flowers, uh, extended stalks, leaves. So you really can build the system in and around. 
So you can see from this one, you just pop a bit of glue at the top and a bit of glue at the bottom. Now I did add some pattern paper onto the white cardstock on this one to make it durable, okay? And then all you do is you just take your clasp out and then you can open your book. Does that make sense? Pop it back in. Don't do this though, guys, until your book is complete, okay? Because as you can see here, this is quite short. If I start extending this, this clasp is going to come out and out and out and out. So it's best that you have a really long clasp like this. And then the more you fill it, the more the clasp can be moved. It's got, it's got, it's got fluidity in it. And then all you do is you glue top and the bottom here so your clasp can go in and out quite easily and then it's down to yourselves just on how do you want to decorate it are you wanting to add the welly but this is one of the larger welly bobs it's far too big but then you get the flowers the toppers use the toppers inside as well as like positive quotes and things like that because people really do love to open things and read things so um, maybe pop a quote positive quote inside like this one here you could pop a tag of topper inside and so on and so forth a um, little bit of money, whatever it may be. So there we go, quite simply. Um, such cuteness, just with the papers from that wonderful, wonderful um, box kit. Do you like that? Please let me know your feedback. I've had so much fun making it. I hope the QR code is something that you will be able to interact with and enjoy. That's what it's there for. So what we've done, 40, 45 minutes building the album. Now it's down to you to create it and make it your own. Please make sure you share your makes in our Eureka fan page on all social media platforms. Let me know your thoughts. I'm interested to see. And moving forwards, I think we're going to be doing a lot more of these. Have a great day. Have a great crafty day. Whatever you're doing, just have a good one. I will see you all later. Take care, guys. Bye.